After watching this video, you should have a fundamental understanding of how two reactions can be coupled together to produce an overall favored reaction when one of the reactions is thermodynamically unfavored. And I'm also going to illustrate to you how this coupling can occur by providing a new mechanistic pathway for the unfavored process. The hydrolysis of ATP is a very important reaction in biological systems. The primary reason it's so important is that it's a very favored reaction thermodynamically. The delta G for this process is approximately minus 30.5 kilojoules. And because of that, organisms have evolved ways to couple this reaction with processes that are unfavored, such that the products of those unfavored processes can actually be made. And I want to kind of show you the thinking behind this coupling idea. One of the ways that organisms couple reactions is in the following way. Imagine, for example, that there was a product that was the result of reacting A plus B that was very important to some biological organism, but that process was thermodynamically unfavored. In other words, the delta G was greater than zero. So by coupling this unfavored reaction with the ATP hydrolysis, we can facilitate the actual favored formation of AB. I'm going to rewrite this and I'll kind of show you what I mean by actually coupling these reactions by adding these together and how that affects the overall delta G. So imagine that the actual free energy change for this reaction was plus 15 kilojoules, the unfavored process. We know the ATP hydrolysis is approximately minus 30.5 kilojoules. Now, if I add these two reactions together or couple them, one way reactions can be coupled is the following. I can just add these down, and by doing so, I get an overall reaction that looks like this, which would be ATP plus water plus A plus B goes to AB plus ADP plus phosphate. Now, if I add the equations down in that fashion, I can do the same thing to the free energies to predict the free energy of the coupled process. So if I do so in this case, I will get 15.5 negative kilojoules for my delta G. That simply was taking this number and adding it to this number, and I get an overall negative value, which means this process is favored. So coupling these two reactions facilitates the favored formation of this product of interest. That's the AB. So that's kind of the thermodynamic perspective of coupling. Let's think about what actually the coupling of these two reactions means in this sense. So let me redraw this one more time, and I'll explain the mechanistic aspect of coupling two reactions. One of the ways that two reactions coupled can provide the free energy, so to speak, for one process to go from unfavored to favored is by, by providing a new mechanism for the facilitation of the unfavored substance. Here's what I mean. So if I have this A plus B going to AB, which is unfavored, but I couple it with the ATP hydrolysis and it's favored, Possibly what's happening is the following. I could hypothesize that A, in a first step of this reaction, is reacting with ATP and water to form a new complex, which I'll call A-phosphate plus ADP. And it's because this substance is formed that in a subsequent step, it can react with B to form AB, releasing the phosphate. So the mechanism of forming AB is by first forming this A phosphate complex, which then has a thermodynamically favored reaction with B to form the product of interest. Now, if this mechanism is valid, it must add up to the overall reaction that we got from coupling the reactions earlier in the video. In other words, if I add these down, I'm going to cancel out items on the reactant side with the product side of the other reaction. So this intermediate, that's what that is called, is on the reactant side of one reaction and the product side of another. In other words, it's produced then consumed. That's why we call it an intermediate. We'll cancel that out. And if I add down now, I will get the same overall reaction, which is A plus B plus ATP 
plus water goes to AB plus ADP plus the phosphate group. This now is overall favored, and the mechanism to facilitate the favorable production of AB is as described. So the coupling of the reactions provides a new mechanism or new pathway for A and B to react that is thermodynamically favored.